All right, everybody, I'm going to show y'all what I do when my oranges are getting kind of softened to the point where I don't really want to waste my time trying to eat them. Um, I juice them because I get the juice out. And I was on the phone with a certain someone. You know who you are? Mama. So um, I was juicing them and I couldn't, you know, show you what I was doing. Now, I do have a juicer, but let me just tell you, it's a lot of work to pull that juicer out and go through everything just to juice these ones here, which I ain't into all that today. Um, but I have done a few of them. And now if your orange is still kind of good, you can take this off and you can actually eat this. You can put this over in a salad or something. You know, if it, but if it's one of the ones where it's like, uh, this orange is not so good, then no. So I have a citrus knife on my cutting board. See, this orange just is way too soft. You know, it just feel that it's just not going to taste as good as I need it to taste. So anyway, so here's what I do. I just cut this orange in half. All right, now I could eat this if I want to, you know, and that'd be good because a citrus salad. Have you had a citrus salad? It's really good. But anyway, so I bought this, I think, from like Amazon or someplace like that one of those places. You just open it, turn it face down, at least the part that's cut open down. And all you do is take and get you a little bit of exercise with your hands and squeeze. And and I just also want to make sure you see that it takes a lot of effort to get a little bit of juice. But I'm like an orange juice snob anyway. I don't really like most juices that are out in the marketplace. I just got a problem with it right so so I just might as well use the oranges nothing really goes to waste in my house um, like those oranges there I can take these out throw it on top of my salad Woo -woo! and boy oh boy talk about good a citrus salad I guess maybe one day I'll do a video of me in my citrus salad cuz I, I eat all kinds of salads I eat potato chip salads, all kinds of salad. Just because I like the fiber I get from the salad, and I like everything else too. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it smells so good. And then look at this. Not much juice, but it's good. That juice is so good. It is so much better than when, let me let you guys see. This juice is so much better than when I buy it from a store. It doesn't have all the sugar, all the other stuff they put into it. So I'm going to finish up because I'm going to do the rest of those. And I'll make this little juice. And another thing that I use this juice for, sometimes, not all the time, I mix a little bit of this and a little bit of the lemon juice that I juice by hand. And use it on top of my salad. Man. Y'all better stop. Because that stuff is so good. It's like this extra little citrus taste. But another thing is, right now, since we have this whole Delta variant and stuff going around. When I'm juicing this, I get a nice little whiff of immune booster. Yeah, boost that immune system. Um, something else you can do as far as the immune system goes is you can actually boil these to get that aroma into the air. And if you have like a head cold or something, you can kind of lean over it. Don't burn yourself and, and let that aroma hit you in the face and it opens you up really, really well. Um, that's it. All right. So that's how I juice. Um, and I'm going to get to juicing some more and eating some more. Don't y'all talk about me. It's what I do. Bye. All right. Just to let you know what I'm going to do with my oranges that are here. Um, I am going to take the actual orange fruit off of the skin, the peel, you know, and then I'm going to freeze it because tomorrow or sometime this week when I make a smoothie, I'm going to use this orange here in my smoothie. 
Um, yeah, I do all kinds of stuff like that. I was like, um, you know, is this good? Let me try it. Now, if you make chicken, orange chicken, or you make a vegan orange chicken with the jackfruit, and you know, if you might know the actual peel, the orange peel, some people grind that up and use that. Um, because, you know, you can eat the peel. Um, I know people, some people say, oh, don't eat the peel. We've grown up eating much worse than the peel of an orange. Um, but anyway, so that's what I do. I'm just going to do this and put it in here. And when I make the actual smoothie, I'm going to let you know how it tastes. Um, because some of you might like it. And some of you might want to boost your immune system. Some of you might want to stop asking me how it is that I haven't gotten COVID when everybody's getting COVID. I'm just saying. All right. Bye. All right, peeps. So now that I finished with my oranges, I have juiced them. Yeah, okay, I did drink some of it along the way. But it is approximately one cup. So that's not a lot of juice. Never mind, because I have the oranges in the freezer. I'll be using those for other things. Um, so this is what I have left, right? Oh, smell that smells so good so i'm gonna tell you what i do with these i actually leave them out on the counter i'll take some of these see i have all like a lot of them here i'll take them i'll put some in the kitchen some in the bathroom some in the living room um in different parts of the room for a day because i really like that citrus smell and if you put it in a enclosed room when you open that door up that citrus smell is going to be really good ah <sighs> just like an air freshener and then, but you got to be careful because, of course, it's fruit, so it will start to dry out. And if you leave it in a wet area, you'll start to have, you know, the um, mold, you know, develop. Um, I do this with lemons as well because I love the citrus smell. It's really good for your immune system. And another thing that I do is a lot of times I would throw these out into my yard. Now, I actually have a place in my yard where I can toss these. I know you don't want these just sitting in your front yard. Um, I'll put pineapples out there, uh, lots of different fruit and stuff out there. So I can give back to Gaia, um, which is wonderful. And also I can let this like decompose, right? And this decomposition will go back and nourish our planet, which I think we kind of need to do as, you know, at least attempt to do it. Um, and then if one looks really, really horrible and nasty, I go ahead and toss that. Um, another thing that I do with the oranges when I freeze them is to have them as a dessert, like a frozen orange, kind of like, you know, sucking on ice cube. I don't know if you've done that, but I have. Um, by the way, that disorder is called pica, but that's a whole nother time. Um, but anyway, um, just take them out of the freezer and, you know, eat on them. Really sweet, really good, and it kind of helps me not want ice cream. <laughs> Everything that helps me not want ice cream. So anyway, those are my things that I do with the oranges. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. What do you do with oranges? You know, you do anything? Um, Mom, I know what you're going to say. Nothing. <laughs> I know you make orange juice, but I know you don't do all this stuff for the oranges and stuff. But you know you're looking good. All right. Love you. Bye. That's love you for my mama. But you know what? I love y'all too because guess what? That's what we're all connected and that's what this life is about. Loving each other and helping each other and growing together. So have a good one. Bye.